sold on developing a new campground here, huh? It's a natural. Send out that grove of trees with a little selective cutting, you'll have one of the prettiest campsites in your district. Right off the main road, convenient parking, lots to see and do. What more do you want? Nothing, I guess. You're not very sold on this idea, are you? Not particularly. Well, it's your district, and I'm only here to make suggestions. Bill, don't tell me you've gone sour on people. Not a very good attitude for a forest ranger, is it? Have to be honest with yourself. Well, it isn't just people I'm against, Corey. It's tourists. And not even all tourists, just some. Well, I know it only takes a few. But those few can throw you more curves and cause you more headaches than almost anything else you have to deal with. Exactly. Let me give you something to think about. This is a pretty hectic and complex world, and most of the people in it are under a lot of pressures in their daily lives. Out here, it's wild and free. Camp out under the stars. Get rid of a lot of those pressures. Don't ever underestimate that need. Game warden, the patrol's over. Just relax. Bill, what we have to offer the people is our most important responsibility. Maybe not the easiest, but the most important. You know, Corey. That will make a pretty campground, won't it? Oh, <laughs> one more trick like that. Oh, come on, Lazy. You shouldn't sleep right after a meal. Uh, this air, that's all I want to do. Well, you can sleep at your desk when you get back to the office. Right now, you're going on a hike. Oh, come on. You're 
words of the top sergeant. <laughs> you having a good time? Best ever. Just us and all of You know, honey, these would make pretty Christmas decorations. Let's look for some more. Okay. There ought to be some whoppers over here. Afraid of us, are you, fella? Poor baby. What are you doing out here all alone like this? Where's your mama? Huh? It looks to me like he's been abandoned. Oh, he's so tiny. His mother could have gotten killed by a hunter or a mountain lion or something like that. I bet he hasn't eaten in days. Well, I guess we'll have to feed him. Don't you worry, baby. We're going to give you some nice warm milk. Come on. Come on. Hold it. Look up. Good. Isn't that exciting? Yeah, but what are we going to do now? Can't just turn him loose. Oh, well, certainly not. He couldn't take care of himself. Die. Well? There must be some place to take a lost animal. I don't know. There was a ranger station a couple of miles down the road. Couldn't we keep him a while? Maybe just tonight? Now, don't you think that little fellow would be better off if he got into the right hands as soon as possible? Yes. I guess so. never seen a deer so close before. How long do you think he's been out there, Ranger? Oh, it's hard to say. Maybe 10 minutes. 10, ten minutes. minutes? That's a habit a deer have. They'll hide their fawn behind a stump or a log, and then they'll go out and forage for food. You mean the mother was nearby? Probably. Well, we'd better get him right back there so she can find him. Well, I'm afraid that's not going to work. That's another habit of deer. Once the fawn has been handled by humans, the doe won't have anything to do with it. Tom, what have we done? Well, we didn't know, hon. We thought we were doing the right thing. I'm sure you did. What's going to happen to him? We'll send him down to the state game department. They won't harm him. He'll just have to be raised in the pen. By the time he's full grown, he won't know how to survive in the wilderness. He'll have to spend his whole life in captivity. Awful. I know you folks meant well, but there's a law in this state, and most states, against picking up wild animals. Well, that's just great. Came here for a vacation and ended up breaking the law. Will we have to pay a fine? It's a state law, and I can't speak for the game warden. But I'll take the fawn over tomorrow and see what he wants to do about it. I'm sorry, baby. Well, we'll be in the campground for another two days, if you want us. Come on. I 
kind of feel sorry for them. This is probably what they'll remember about their vacation. It's too bad. And you want to bring more people into the forest? Yes, and educate them. It's our job to teach people the habits of wildlife. Prevention is still the best cure. Well, they sure learned a lesson they'll never forget. Come on, little baby. Oh! <laughs> 
ça pour assez. show you something. What do you think of that? Oh, even if she is a mother, I doubt if she'll take the fawn back with human smell on it. are against you, girl, but good luck anyway. Not very much, but I figure if anybody could do it, Lassie could. Lassie, come here. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna buy you the biggest bone in this district. <laughs> Lassie, you sure did a good job there. Hey, how about the three of us taking a drive? Drive? Up to Emerald Campground. Those nice folks might have a pretty good vacation after all. They might even want to come back someday. 